Well, these two teams have already played, of course, on match day one. Now they are involved in this fixture in the Champions Cup match day two. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I think there's improvements to be made from both sides from match day one. So let's see if they can achieve that. The game today features Sunderland against Juventus. Gonzalo Higuain is still a player who attracts a lot of publicity and can get match-winning goals, can't he, at any level. Yeah, I do like this boy because uh, I think he gives defenders a headache with his movement and with his power. The one to watch here. This is the Sunderland team for you today. Vito Manoni starts in goal. Yaya Toure plays with Leroy Fair in midfield. So a couple of strikers for them at the front end of the team. Shots on here. He's gone! Fantastic start. Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. Well, I don't go that far from the holidays, and he scored from that distance. It's an incredible strike. So the first goal, it's 1-0. There's good progress with this attack. Ince. Matthews. Toure. Now Wilson. Sunderland wondering whether they can go on and score from here. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. Now they've got to work hard to try and get it back. Here's Kingsley Coman. Well, he's got support here. Nicely played through ball. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Play back. Strong challenge. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. Sharp piece of attacking play from Sunderland. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Face to try and hit it now. He's kept it out. Throw in here. Yaya Toure into the attacking third. Going for goal! You can understand why he's kept going for goal, having scored in the game. Uh, but this one has passed him by. Yeah, I don't think you can knock him for having a go from there. He's in a good position. Marquisio in strongly oh, chance very good stop here the corner that Juventus have got to try and cope with dealt with pretty straightforwardly well, a real treat in store for you coverage on it free kick coming up what about Juventus's next match Alan? Yeah, they're playing Wolfsburg in their next match in the Champions Cup and and I don't think they'll find too many obstacles in the way. Now the shot! Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. <laughs> Juventus regained possession here. Decision is a throw, it's a fair tackle. 
Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. Coman. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Good position, they've worked this attack very well. Rodriguez! Good work by the goalkeeper. Well, we've had some chances, Alan, but it's a while since we've had a goal. They've still got the lead. Yeah, and they're knocking the ball about with a fair bit of confidence, and uh, they look pretty secure with these real chance. They score! It's getting better and better for them. But this is some performance from an unfancied team with shots and a goal. Might well, have been really positive from the outset here, and deservedly, I think, they're in charge of this match. at 2-0. They should win now, shouldn't they? 2 nil here, not much time to go. What impact will that have on the next game? Well, Sunderland go up against Norwich City after this. Played with a lot of freedom out here. They'll be really pleased. Quattrano! Well, there's a twist of the tail here. They've cut the deficit in half. They're only one behind now. There's still plenty of time to try and find this equaliser. But we're pleased with neutrals, Alan. It's brought it back into contention again. They're just one behind. Well, at one stage, I, I thought they were the down and out, goal. but fair and play. The They've rallied, and shown the great goal. character. Off we go again, 2-1. Power. Here's a chance to attack. Played into the middle. And here's the header. Very good stop here. now, and they're almost there. Ricardo Rodriguez, Juventus on the attack. Surely the equaliser. Goodness me, it's hit the post. And it's over. And Sunderland on the right end of this result. It was really close, right up to the final whistle. But they've got across the finishing line with their noses just in front. I'd be relieved about that because the opposition pushed them all the way. It's a cracking contest. Champions Cup. CSKA Moscow, nil. Paris Saint Germain, three. Standard Liège, one. Borussia Dortmund, 2. Sunderland, 2. Juventus, 1. Wolfsburg, 1. Athletic Bilbao, 1. Hi there, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler. Big warm welcome to you. Alan Smith, big warm welcome to you as well. And we're here at Carrow Road. Please welcome to the pitch, Sunderland. This match is Norwich City against Sunderland. In front of goal, Norwich City have been weak, the weakest team in the division. Yeah, confidence, by the sound of it, is really low. And the manager 
before this match would have had his work cut out to lift the spirits. The referee for today's game is Mike Jones. Thank you, Karen. Enjoy the We're game. Off and running here with Sunderland starting the first half. And for Norwich City, this is the selection the manager's gone for for this game. Alex Tetti starts, looking to recover his form. In attack, Eduardo Vargas starts. He was man of the match last time out. Shots on here, and it's Ruddy who's made the save. Well, they're doing their marking properly at the corner here. It looks like it anyway. Patrick van Arnholt. Sharp piece of attacking play from Sunderland. Shot on! Good block. Quick change of possession here. Vargas. Yusuf Malumbu. This could be, a, got to be. It's in. It's a great start for them. A wonderful goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change both managers' approach to this game. And that showed real finesse, just to place it into the bottom right-hand corner. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Patrick van Arnholt. Good play until they got that challenge in. Could be dangerous. To level it up now. Great stop. Looking to widen the play, really. Widen the build-up, but the ball just runs straight out over the touchline. Patrick van Arnholt. Well read by the defender. Vargas. Referee has played the advantage here. And Norwich tried to take advantage of that decision. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Tackle here. There's good progress with this attack. And here's the shot. It's hit the post and gone in. Just touched in off the post. Goalkeeper absolutely beaten. No, it's a wonderful strike. Really crisp effort. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. So, away we go at one all. Yusuf Malumbu. Sunderland ready to make a move in terms of a substitution now. Ince. He might be through. And now the shot. Very good stop here. On the front foot now, they've got a corner, hoping for the goal that will put them in the lead. And here we are, a double change coming up. We've got a corner now. Coming up, another look at that save. He's a master at getting his angles right, isn't he, this goalkeeper? Challenges for the ball. Vargas. Just looking at Sunderland, what about the next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Arsenal in the next match. 
a lot at stake, but I think it might be a bit too much for them. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. 20 minutes now remaining. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Going to be a substitution here for the home side. Well, here we've got the possession stats so far for you coming up on the screen. Well, nothing to split the two sides. This is when you look. That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. He'll need to try and get the ball back now. Power. Here's Wilson. Going for goal! Oh, great work by the keeper. Very close game. Maybe a corner now will be significant. Toure! It's still level in the game, largely thanks to this fellow, the keeper. Oh, he's had a blinder. Whatever they try, they're really struggling to get one past him. Johnny House. The number's gone up, as far as added time is concerned, it's four. Yeah, and there's a sense of anticipation within this ground. They think they've got a, a decent enough chance now to do the necessary. Well, an important corner now. Let's see what they can do. The goalkeeper who defies gravity, especially in slow motion. And he's a big lad as well. He fills that goal. See what the ref's going to do. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. Final whistle's gone, and what a good game it was. It has finished 1-1. Aston Villa 1, West Ham United 0. Chelsea 1, Manchester City 1. Everton 0, Tottenham Hotspur 1. Liverpool 1, Newcastle United 1. Norwich City 1, Sunderland 1. Stoke City 0, Leicester City 1. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Chelsea with 15 points. In second, rising up the table, are Liverpool with 14 points. In third, moving down, are Stoke City with 13 points. In fourth, Manchester United with 12 points. In fifth, Middlesbrough with 12 points. In sixth, Arsenal with 12 points. In seventh, climbing the table, are Tottenham Hotspur with 12 points. In eighth, rising up the table, are Leicester City with 12 points. Bottom of the table, Manchester City with four points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Norwich City with four points. Third bottom and falling are Swansea City with five points. Fourth bottom, moving down, are West Bromwich Albion with six points. Fifth bottom and falling are West Ham United with six points.